sweet friends welcome to a new vlog if you are new here my name is Kim I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and I am currently packing up my whole entire classroom if you have missed it I've already posted a couple videos packing up my classroom I am back today it is a Sunday afternoon I'm only planning on being here for a little bit so I might combine this footage with maybe some footage from the week I don't really know but I basically had to come in because I was here yesterday with my mom for a few hours and we were working on all sorts of things and my toxic trait is I tend to just make these huge messes and then I peace out and I'm like I'll deal with that tomorrow <laughs> So anyways, I made a big huge mess in my room. I was like pulling stuff out of the back room. I was emptying out cupboards. And then I said, you know, mom, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> And so anyways, I have a big huge mess and I did have stuff going on last night too So I like kind of had to leave eventually But anyways, I have a ton of stuff out right now. I'll kind of walk you around and show you what's going on But I need to clean it up so that way I can teach in here tomorrow So yes, I'm gonna go through some things. I'm going to put some boxes in my car I have a couple boxes of stuff that needs to be donated So yes, I need to do a handful of things today just so I can like be here and teach the children tomorrow Tomorrow we have our very first field trip of the year. I'm so excited. We have two still coming up the school year. So we have one tomorrow and then one the very last week of school. My school goes until June 10, so we still have a little while, but we are taking a field trip to the high school tomorrow, which will be so much fun because it's just, you know, going down a little ways. Um, it's only, you know, five, 10 minutes away. So it's not far at all, probably five minutes away. And the kids are going to be just so excited to meet the high schoolers and be shown around the high school. And we're going to be there the majority of the day doing activities and stuff. So I'm excited for that. And then we have another field trip later on, like I said, but this is like our very first field trip. And for a lot of my kids, it's like their first field trip ever. If they didn't do summer school, I think it is their first field trip ever because when we shut down for the very first time in 2020, it was when they were in kindergarten garden before they got to go on their field trip so pretty wild but yes all of the things to do I'm a little bit chilly right now but I know I'm gonna warm up once I start running around so let me just show you what the room's looking like right now and then I need to get to work <laughs> So yesterday I started going through all my bins in my back room and emptying those out the best I could and then also I have like all of these bins and I'm kind of debating I'm like do I really need to keep all of these so I might try to decide today like how many I actually need and will use and then the rest of them I might see if any other teachers in my building want them also this is kind of unrelated but we started planting this week which was so fun actually wait hold on I have to show you right here so we started planting this week which was so fun and I can't move any further up because the kids names are on their cups but I'll just show you that some of their little plants have started growing which is so fun so we planted little pea pods and then again I have like baggies up there but it has their names on it which is a bit of a bummer so I'll show you mine this is mine right here and this is corn so they're just like little popcorn kernels and we put them in there with like wet paper towels and then this is like our classroom garden so we planted these ones together we have radishes and then some flowers this one fell off but I accidentally put two different ones in here because I was talking to a kid so <laughs> there's flowers and and basil in here and those have really started to pop up and then I don't have labels for those ones but yes and then I also bought some things off TPT so I bought this pack I um, made the little classroom garden sign but then I bought this pack right here and actually there's some more that I still need to cut out too but yeah we have our little classroom garden which has been so fun Okay, so this is how I left my classroom yesterday because it was time to go. So anyways, yeah, lots of work that needs to be done. I have a Diet Coke and a McDonald's Frappe <laughs> to keep me company. And then mom worked on all sorts of things over here. So yes, I just need to like continue going through things today and just clean it up to the point where I can teach in here tomorrow. But I have lots of like little piles of things going. I started pulling a ton of stuff out of my back room but as you can see there still is a lot left so a lot of work still to be done 
I emptied out all of my drawers of my desk because we have to have those completely emptied out. So I emptied those all out and I'm going to try to just like keep them empty. But that means right now I have a ton of stuff on top of my desk that I need to find a home for. So I need to do that today too. I picked up this little plant today. So I'm going to plant this probably today, maybe tomorrow with the kids. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll just put it by my little garden over here. <laughs> I went to Lowe's with my husband and we got some stuff for the yard and I saw this and I was like, you know, that's a cute little plant. I'm going to plant that in our little classroom garden because it will make the kids happy and me too. So we'll just set it there for right now. <laughs> Okay, so it is officially Monday morning and I am just about ready for my field trip. I do have a couple of things I want to do this morning to just finish prepping, but I thought I would share with you my like outfit and stuff before any of my co-teachers get here. So I am here dark and early this morning, which is like something I have not done recently. So first of all, I did put on some press on nails. These are the Kiss brand. They're the new length. They're like the coffin length and I think I like them. They're a little bit longer than I'm used to, but that's okay. And then I just have on this little bodysuit though I am wearing shorts over the bodysuit because this little jumpsuit is very see-through this is from Target this is like the stony clover line and it's extremely see-through so I had to put on nude shorts so you couldn't see the back of the bodysuit there was like a lot going on in here so anyways yes I'm wearing this cute little jumpsuit though and then I have on these um, little like they almost look like vans, but they're not vans. They're also from Target, and they're from the Cat and Jack line, so they're like the kids' line. So anyways, yes, I am dressed like a elementary school student slash elementary school teacher today. I figured it would be just a fun look to be with the kids and like running all around on our field trip. So yes, I'm wearing this, and then also I packed a fanny pack. So actually, let's walk and talk. The lighting is gonna be absolutely atrocious, so I apologize, but that's okay. We are making do. So I'm gonna set you right here, I think. That'll work. So I also brought a cute little fanny pack from Target. So let me grab that so I can show you. And I love having fanny packs with me on field trips because it's just super handy. You put your band-aids in here, you put your cell phone, you put some tape, some scissors, like whatever you think you might need. So yes, I just have like this bright yellow little bag and I actually have this in pink as well. I got it from Target, $15. I thought that was a pretty good deal and I figured I would use it for like all the field trips, all the things. So yes, I have that and then also I just went to Walgreens. Where did I put my bag? Oh, here it is. So I just went to Walgreens on the way in because I realized I forgot my Dremamine and I get horribly, horribly motion sick so I needed to pick some up. So I just got like the Walgreens brand of Dremamine, there's that. And then also a little life hack. These are little alcohol prep pads. If you're feeling really nauseous, if you open one of these and stick it under your nose and just like take some deep breaths, it makes your nause nausea go away or at least you won't like throw up. So one of my friends who is an EMT taught me that and it totally works. So I brought those or I bought those so I can bring them. And then I just got some minty gum because that always helps too. And you know what? I'm actually gonna bring the bag as well just in case because like I said, horribly motion sick. So yes, I'm gonna bring all those with me and then I need to finish packing up my lunch. I'm just gonna grab like a little lunch bag from my classroom, but I packed a Lunchable because is it really a field trip if I don't have a Lunchable? So yes, I need to pack that and then I have like a little Clementine and stuff too. So I'm gonna run all around, finish getting ready for the day. I'm so excited. I have like name tags ready to go on my students' desks. I have little tags for their lunches. So that way when they bring in their lunch, I can staple the tag to it to make sure that I have a lunch for everybody before I start putting them in our box that we're gonna bring with us. I have another little bag that I'm gonna bring with me. This is a little Grand Valley bag, which is where I went to school. And in here I have like a class list. I have some more band-aids and like that kind of stuff. So I haven't decided for sure if I'm gonna bring this with me, but I might, we will see how I'm feeling. 
and I have a little sweater to bring with me too because I think it's only supposed to be like 45 degrees today so I'm gonna pack a little sweater so yes I'm so excited and I can't wait to tell you all about it but for now I need to go print a couple of things and so that's what I'm gonna do next but I will see you when I see you hello sweet friends so it is many days later now as I'm filming this it is May 22nd and I actually already edited all the vlog up until this point but it was pretty short still and so I didn't want to like post it because I think it was like under 10 minutes and so I kept thinking like oh I'm just gonna add to it I'm gonna add to it and then I just never filmed so anyways here we are now it is Sunday it's right around 11 o'clock right now and I have like a couple hours to work in my classroom today so that's what I'm planning on doing I have not been coming in the past I think two weekends or at least last weekend because we have hosted some friends over and stuff like that we've just had some busy weekends but I think the last thing I was talking to you about was our field trip to the high school and it went so well like so well it was so much fun it was so much fun seeing some of my old teachers because I work in the same district that I graduated from so that was an absolute who I loved it um my camera battery is flashing so hold on just one second let me change that and then I will finish this story <laughs> okay I think the angle might be slightly different but that's okay so anyways I was just saying the field trip to the high school was so much fun um, my students all were paired with high school students who took them on a tour and oh my gosh It was just so much fun They had like a little scavenger hunt little activities and everything and it was just so much fun And we do have one more field trip coming up this year the last week of school, which will be so fun, too I do love field trips. I know not everybody feels that way, but I absolutely love them I think they are so much fun. I think they can be very stressful as well So I get that side of it, but also it's just like so fun to see the kids use like a different I don't know set of skills. I feel like out in the real world <laughs> So anyways, I have had a really good couple of weeks. I will say behavior has been amping up with the end of the year as I feel like it always does because a lot of kids don't enjoy summer and they don't want summer. They don't like the change in routine. I mean, the end of the year you have more just like extra stuff I feel like are different things and so your routine changes a little bit. And so anyways, I feel like that's always hard. So I'm sure that's like across the board, not just me. But yes, um, we are surviving and it is what it is. Also, if my face looks like super oily right now, it's actually because I have like very, very dry skin. And so I slathered it with moisturizer before I came here today. <laughs> so I'm trying to like, you know, prevent the things. But I have on this super cute little set from Old Navy. So I will link this below. It's just like a little terry cloth type material. So you could totally wear it as like a little bathing suit cover up. And these shorts are so comfortable. I actually just bought them in black as well. And I love them. So yay for that. And then also this morning I picked up Starbucks. And I saw this idea of what to order from this account on Instagram. It just like popped up on my, not even for you page, because that's not a thing on Instagram. I don't know what it's called, but like where you just scroll through. It's not the Discover page either, but lately I feel like I like scroll through and then it's like a recommended post or whatever. It's like not someone I follow or anything. But anyways, it was recommended by that person and it's delicious. It's like a passion fruit tea situation. I don't know. I'll pop it up on the screen, but credit to that person because it's really, really yummy. So yay for that. So now I think I'm just going to set you up and go work on all the things because my goal is to get a decent amount done in the two hours that I have. So I think, like I said, I'm going to start pulling down some bulletin board type things and packing up just like odds and ends. I might pack up my cart as well, a couple of carts that I have. I haven't decided though, because I still do use my small group cart. So it's like, I don't want to pack up stuff and then not have it. I don't know, I haven't decided. But anyways, I'm gonna start packing some things, not exactly sure what, but we will see. So we'll see where the day takes me. <laughs> also, while I work around my classroom, I am going to try to finish up this audiobook. I won't finish it all the way, but I might get pretty close. So if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I use the Libby app, I feel like I talk about it all the time, and I am currently listening to people we meet on vacation which had been on my to read list for a long time so I'm 73% done so I'm gonna keep on listening <laughs>
I just realized I never put on my microphone today, so hopefully the volume quality is fine. But right now I just want to show you, we have a caterpillar. Look at our cute little caterpillar. So hopefully Rosie, which is what the kids named our caterpillar, hopefully Rosie will turn into a butterfly at some point. She's kind of hard to see. She's right there, but come on, how exciting. The kids like love Rosie so much. She will be a monarch. She's a monarch caterpillar, which they're kind of hard to feed. So right now I have milkweed in there that my mom found, but milkweed's like impossible to buy right now. So I did a lot of research online and basically the only other thing that we found that she'll eat are fresh cucumbers. So I've been putting in new cucumbers every day as well. But yeah, that's Rosie. The kids are like obsessed with her. So I really hope that she makes it. We had like a bunch of them and the rest all did not make it. So yeah, but that's Rosie for you. And that's her little habitat that we made. Okay, so I need to put my hair back up. But I am just about to head out. It's like right around 1 o'clock right now. And I got a decent amount done. I took down my Vowel Valley bulletin board. And then I just took down a bunch of like random stuff around the room that was on the walls. I don't want to take down like every single thing. So I'm going to leave my back wall to be like one of my last things that I take down along with my lights. But I took down the stuff that I felt comfortable taking down. And we go to school until June 10, so we still have a little while. We have a few weeks left of school, and so I don't want it to be, like, totally empty and sad in here. But now I'm, like, already starting to feel a little sad. I feel like I get sad at the end of every school year, and I, yeah, I'm just feeling it more because I'm, like, oh, my gosh, I'm, like, packing up all this stuff, taking it all down. I don't have the summer to work on it, um, which honestly will be really nice. I'm hoping that this summer I can focus more on, like, traveling and having fun and doing Teachers Pay Teachers and YouTube and all the fun stuff, though I'm sure YouTube will look a little different this summer because I will not have access to my classroom. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that you are doing super well. Sorry I've been kind of inconsistent here on this channel, but thank you for sticking with me and you guys are always super understanding in the comments, which I always really appreciate. So thank you for all that you do. I hope that you are having a fabulous day whenever you are watching this and a fabulous school year if you are a teacher. If you are done soon, I hope you are enjoying the beginning of your summer or the end of your school year or whatever it looks like for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.